Hey there, it's Board Game Dave. Today we're taking a look at one of the first modern games I ever played, a game that literally created its own genre, and the singular game that set me on the path toward the passion I have for board games today. And that game is Dominion. Dominion originally came out in 2008, and there have been 14 separate expansions since, the last of which came out earlier this year. Dominion is what's now known as a deck building game. There have been many card games since that utilize and build upon this system, but at its core, a deck builder is very simple. You start with a very small, not very powerful deck of cards. From that deck, you draw your hand. On your turn, you play some actions and acquire better cards. Those new cards eventually get shuffled into your deck and you'll play those stronger cards on subsequent turns. You're building your deck into something more powerful, more optimized, more efficient, etc. Dominion, as the original deck builder, sticks to this very simple and easy to understand system and even helps players learn the game with a simple mnemonic device for what you do on your turns, A, B, C. A is for action phase. Here you'll play a single action card from your hand, although sometimes those action cards can give you more actions which allow you to pull off a combo of actions. This is it. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, uh, I laboratory, draw two. Uh, and I play another lab, draw two. Uh, oh, I have another market. B is for buy phase. Here, you'll spend your coins to buy better cards from the supply. Importantly, you can't save any of your coins from turn to turn. Finally, C is for cleanup phase. You'll discard your entire hand, any cards you played, and any cards you gained into your discard pile and draw five new cards. If your deck runs out while you're drawing cards, you'll shuffle your discard pile and use that as your new deck. This is when you'll start seeing those new cards that you bought. And that's how you take a turn in Dominion. Action phase, buy phase, and cleanup phase. Players will keep taking turns like this, buying stronger and stronger action cards and treasure cards, and then eventually focusing on victory cards, which is how you get points. The game goes on like this until the province deck runs out or three supply piles run out, at which point the game ends and players add up their points. And that's all you need to know to play Dominion. Each game will feature 10 unique kingdom cards, and the second edition comes with 26 kingdom cards, which means there are over 5 million different combinations you can use in any given game just using the base game. But beyond that, there are the 14 different expansions that I mentioned earlier, which each add their own feel and new mechanics, and they can all be combined with any other expansion, so there are virtually infinite possibilities when it comes to this game. So now that you know a little bit more about the game and how to play, let's take a look at my review of Dominion. First, the art and components. Now, the components in this box are just 500 cards. I do like the artwork, but component-wise, there's not too much going on here. Not much to say, I'll give it an eight out of 10. Next, I'm gonna combine complexity versus audience and intuitive mechanics because I'm giving them both a 10 out of 10. I mean, this game is so easy to learn as, as long as you know your ABCs, that is. It's action, buy phase, clean up, draw five new cards, that's all there is to it. And it's all very intuitive. Anybody can understand getting better cards, adding them to your deck, shuffling them up, and then hopefully drawing those great new cards to do more powerful actions, buy better cards, buy provinces. It's awesome, it's easy, it's intuitive. Anybody can play Dominion. Next, thematic integration. Now, at first glance, there is nothing thematic about this game. I mean, building a deck of cards has nothing to do with acquiring provinces, but there's actually more to it than meets the eye. The moat, for example, is a defense card if somebody tries to attack you. The witch, on the other hand, gives other players curses which bog down their deck, make them not very efficient. There's also the remodel card, which lets you remodel a not so good card from your deck and turn it into a card that's a little bit better. That's thematic, and as you explore some of the expansions, you'll find that there's some really thematic elements and themes in those uh, expansions. So, not a high score here, but I'm gonna give it a six out of 10 for thematic integration. Next, replayability. Now, like I said, there's over five million different ways to combine the 26 different kingdom cards in just the base game. However, that's just 26 cards to explore. So at some point, you're probably gonna wanna branch out and try some of those expansions, mix them in with the base game, or try them by themselves. There is so much to explore in the world of Dominion, but even in just the base game, there's a lot of replayability baked in there with the different ways you can combine those cards. And honestly, it really doesn't get old, at least not for me. I've been playing Dominion for uh, well over 10 years now, and I'm still down to play Dominion, especially with some of those expansions, most notably the Empire's expansion. Next, the length and fun factor. Now, this game isn't very long. You can play in about half an hour, and I love that there's this race element, right? Race to get that last province card usually, or race to finish that third supply pile. 
and you can see it coming. So the game's ramping up toward this crescendo of, oh, the game's about to end. I hope I can get that province, right? And you've got these great cards in your deck, but you're also bogged down by victory points and, and stuff like that that's, that's clogging up your deck. So it's really interesting. The game is ramping up very organically. The pacing is great. The length is great. It's fun all the way through. I give it a 9 out of 10 here. And finally, cost versus value. Now, I'm not going to lie. This game is a little bit expensive. There was a time when you could get it for 30 35 bucks, but right now it seems like it's a little bit hard to find. It's going to be about $45, which is the MSRP. So 45 bucks for 500 cards, you know, not bad, but a little bit on the pricey side. And the expansions all tend to be about 30 to $35. So it's kind of an expensive game, but it's a lot of bang for your buck at the same time. So I'll give it an eight out of 10 for cost versus value. And there you have it. Dominion gets an overall score of eight and a half out of 10. This is truly a remarkable, remarkable game. And although there are hundreds of other deck building games that are newer and flashier, there's a reason why Dominion is still relevant. It's the OG, it's the classic, it's intuitive, it's easy to teach. It has such a wide appeal. You can play this with your grandma, with your sister, with your girlfriends, brothers, cousins, sister-in-law. You can play with anybody. It's a great game. And if you've never played it, you can go right now to dominion.games online and try it absolutely for free and see if it's a game for you. And if you're like me and you play Dominion a lot and have some of the expansions, it has every single expansion on there, even the brand new Allies expansion, which I'm actually really looking forward to trying online. So go on there, play Dominion, play it in, uh, on the computer, play it in person, get a copy, play it with your friends. It's amazing. And in the meantime, have a wonderful week. Take care and happy gaming. Bye. Do you like playing Dominion, Stella? You like deck building games? Yeah. You like playing the witch and giving everybody curses, don't you? Yeah, you're a mean player. What do you see? What are you looking at? Oh, you like the expansions, I know. Which one's your favorite? You like alchemy? Nobody likes alchemy. You looking at the camera? Yeah? Tell everybody thank you for watching, and don't forget to comment and like and subscribe. Say bye. See ya.